Hi guys, it's Susan. I'm here with the haul video. Um, looking at it all piled up, I got a whole lot of stuff, but honestly, it's um, two Joanne's orders that took like two and a half weeks to get here. So I've actually been pretty good and haven't really bought much in the last week and a half or so. Saving up for some other things that are coming up that I know I want to spend money on. So anyway, um, the first thing I got, and everything I got was between 40 and 50% off. Plus, I had a free shipping coupon. Was um, I got a smash book. And I don't know. I think now that I've actually got one in my hand and seen it, and I don't think I want to do it. So I might just unload that. Then I got... Um, a new embossing pad, and I got the tinted one. I want to try that out and see how that works. I got two Memento ink pads in Tuxedo Black and Rich Cocoa. Just to, um, I usually use the little dew drops, so I figured I would get the bigger ones this time. I got the last seven colors of Distress Ink that complete my collection. So I won't bore you with the details, but they were like two fifty each. So I figured, okay, good time to finish off my collection. Then I got some stamps. I got um, this one says, "A good friend is like a warm cup of coffee," and I have quite a few friends who were all addicted to coffee. So. I got this Stamping Bella, this cute little girl in a coffee cup, which I thought that was really cute. She was pretty cheap. And then these are stickers, but I thought they would look cute on a card with either one of those stamps. So I got them. I got this little itty bitty set from Unity. It says, What's Shaken? I can see the picture on the back. It's little salt and pepper shakers. They're so cute. I got another set from Allie Edwards. I don't know which way to show it, but I like this vintage camera. And the sayings are nice. They'd be good for Project Life or for scrapbooks, too. And I like the film strip. Although I think I've got a film strip in, like, three other same sets now. And I got these from Tim Holtz. These were really cheap. They're, like, background stamps. I don't remember. I know the glare is really bad. I don't remember how much they were, but they were really cheap. So I picked them up. And then I just got some tags, plain old manila tags. And then in one of Sherry's um, her videos her for her Japanese-inspired card, somebody, I can't remember who it is, and I'm sorry if if you're watching and I'm not remembering your name, but somebody used these stamps to make a card and I thought they were adorable. So I picked these up from Joann's, 40% off. I think that I paid like five bucks for the three of them. And I just think they're really, really cute. Um, one of my best friends is J Japanese, so I don't know. I just thought they were cute and I'd, I'll use them on a birthday card for her. And then the best thing, which nobody's going to believe me, but it's the truth. I ordered an empty box for my Copics. It was like $6. It was an empty case. It holds 12 Copics because I've just started collecting Copics. I had, up until today, I had 32 of them. So I figured I'd just get one of these boxes and see if I liked it for a storage option. So when I'm unpacking my box today... I look at the box, and now I know I ordered the empty box, and I'm thinking, hmm, they put fake markers in here to show how it fills. So I pick it up, and it's kind of heavy, and I open it, and they're not fake markers. They are real. So then I panicked, and I thought, oh, my God, what did I do? Because I know this is like a 60 something dollar set of pens. I look on my invoice, there's no prices on the invoice, so I quick look at my order. Nope, I paid $6. So then I didn't know what to do. So I called Joanne. I felt bad. You know, it's one of my, my faults. Is I'm, I, I think I'm too honest sometimes, and I end up getting myself screwed. But 
the, I gave the lady the item number. She looked it up. They cannot find the item number for what I ordered. And she couldn't tell what I got. So she said, not to worry about it. Just keep it. So I got all these pens, all these Copics for $6 and change. And I tried to do the right thing and see, you know, I wasn't going to keep them, but I would have just taken the empty case. But, so, I was really excited over that. And the funny thing is I tried to find the empty case on Joanne again because I still need an empty case and they don't have them anymore. So, how was that? Then I got from the scrapyard from, I think it's Moon Shadow, I got some washi tape. I got this little butterflies on like a peach color background. This one is cute. It's got pink, it's got cameras, and it says, do you enjoy it? So, that's cute. Um, I was going to share some of these with Vanessa, but I'm not sure. I think she might have actually gone ahead and ordered them anyway. I got this orange sunburst. So, Vanessa, if you're watching, let me know if you want some of these. Blue stars, because there's no way I'll ever use all the washi tape I have. I hardly ever use it now. And red hearts. And if, if that wasn't enough enough washi tape that I never use. One of the Daily Deal sites, I think it might have been Peachy Cheap, had the Indie Chic, all the washi tapes. So this one's I left in the package, but I will take it out to put it in my holder. Um, so I've got 12, 3, 6, 9, 12 more rolls. So I've got these three, and then all of these. And they go with the, in my mind's eye, Indie Chic line. Like, really, guys, I, I don't use washi tape. I don't know why I'm getting sucked into this, but I guess I'm going to have to figure out how to use it and make it work. So, that's it. That's my haul. Bye.